Perfect. God. Got him. It's a pretty good one right there. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. Today we're out on the water with a special guest. Y'all have heard me talk about these jigs, wicked jigs. Y'all have heard me talk about it for, I don't know, months now. About how, oh, it's a family member that makes these jigs. It's the, jigs I, it's the only jigs I fish with. And uh, that's who we're out with here with today. We're out here with Tyler with Wicked Jigs. Y'all have seen that? I've got that same hat. Wear it on all the live streams. So Tyler is going to put on a little bit of a clinic, I think, on me. He's going he's gonna to be the big fish the big fish guy today. I mean, he's going to be throwing some swimming jigs, skipping jigs. Hopefully teach me a little bit about how to throw some jigs. Uh, maybe part a little bit of knowledge on you guys. We'll see. Um, but we're going to go out here and kill him on some, uh, on some what we got? throwing some worms today. Uh, swim jig, frog, bunch of top water stuff. We're just, we're just gonna go have a good day. We're gonna catch some fish. Y'all come along. Let's do it. Get him. You need net? Oh shoot, he came off. That was a big one. <laughs> Dang it. My drag was slipping. There we go. Got him. On the fall, on the fall, on the fall. You're not exactly the size we're looking for. Calm down, little buddy. Fish number one. Tyler missed a huge one, but we're moving right along. We're on a good little start. It's the worm, baby. It's the worm. <laughs> this is a zoom worm. Come here, you little spot. All time summer, summer color, red bug. There we go. Tyler's getting them stirred up for me. Just bat and clean up. Nice little spot. Again, no size, but. We're working to it. You catch our limit, I'll get a big one. <laughs> Got him. That's a pretty decent one. You need net? Nope. Flip. That's a pretty good one right there. That's a solid three. I saw the weeds start shaking. <laughs> There we go. A wicked jig right there. <laughs> That's a three pounder for sure. Yep. Pretty nice. That's a nice fish. Oh. Tyler on the board with the big boy. I never saw that one really eat it. I just saw when I cast in there, mm -hmm. I saw a couple weeds to the right of it start shaking. Yeah. And I just felt pressure. Well, I got a game changer skipping jig on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put one on too. That was one I probably would not have bought just out of the gate. Like, I really like the crawl, that crawl color you've got. But when you sent me that one after I stared at it a minute, I was like, okay. Game changer? Yeah, I can totally see this one working. I don't know why. I, I think it's just because I've got so much confidence in it. Yeah. That's why I catch fish on it. Yeah. Water, you can put a green pumpkin or like watermelon trailer on it, and yep. it looks fine. And then if you're fishing real dirty water, you can put a black and blue trailer on it. Yep. It's just real versatile. It's got a little bit of yellow. It's got a little bit of chartreuse in it, but it's also got the black. It's it's got the blue, and then it's got the your normal like pumpkin look to it. Yeah. It's 
got everything you need in it and it's super versatile he came out with uh, the kusa crawl i was like oh my goodness that that right there is the juice like that is the juice and i, I was all over it bought a couple of those and then i sent you some money so just give me dealer's choice and you sent that one and i was like i don't know about this one like i I'd probably go with like bruised melon before I go with this one. Then I got to staring at it and I was like, no, but it's got all the colors you need. Like it, you can throw it in any color water and it should work. That's a bass. Uh, there's a, uh, well, I'll talk about it after I'm done with this guy. <coughs> Chill out, boss. All right, get out of here then. Jeez. Uh, <clears throat> another one on the worm, folks. Another one on the worm. There we go. Man, I'm killing the little ones. <laughs> killing the little ones today. <laughs> right, right. I'd be uh, I'd be that guy holding you back, Tyler. <clears throat> I think at this point I'd be like, all right, tough to dumb worm. Right, right. <laughs> Please pull out a bigger, a bigger bait, something that will catch bigger fish. You're killing me. We got our limit now. We got to start catching some. <sighs> nice little spot later little guy yeah we gotta upgrade start upgrading when you're not expecting it and it's in the middle of the night and you're on a lake that really honestly you shouldn't be on in the middle of the night because you're there you go i saw the weed shaking again on that one got him one on the frog that's my class of fish right there. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be biting the frog. Where's Granny? That's a better size than I have been getting, but just slightly. Yeah. Just slightly. Yeah, I mean finally score it's finally scoreable. Yeah, it's another one. Got a little pounder. Another little pounder. Uh, Tyler's getting frustrated with me, I think, with these pounders. They really wants me to start bringing in <laughs> at least at least uh, two pounds. I watched that thing wrap around so much that we would have been sitting there for a minute. Got him. Woo. On the frog. He ate it pretty good. That's about how you want to hook him on a frog right there. Yeah, right in the top of the mouth. Kabam. I want y'all to take note how he did that. You heard it. He waited like half a second and then set the hook. That's what I've been trying to tell y'all folks. If y'all lose a lot on the frogs on those blow ups, sometimes they miss it, yes. But sometimes you yank it right out of their mouth. Yeah, that one hit it twice. Did he? Yeah.
All right, folks, that's gonna do it for today. We are, uh, we're about to wrap it up here. The biggest one of the day came on a swim jig, which is like Tyler's, Tyler's deal over there is the swim jig. If you wanna catch bigger fish, might wanna look at the jigs, folks. Um, I was catching all dinks on like a little U-tail worm. Um, again, I, I need to get better with jigs. I need to be out here fishing with Tyler more, showing me how to use these swim jigs. Cause if I'm as decent as I am with a chatterbait, surely I can figure out a swim jig. But let's go over some of these jigs real quick. So Tyler makes all sorts of jigs. If y'all haven't, I'm gonna put his Instagram right here on the screen. Y'all need to go find him on Instagram, uh, follow Wicked Jigs. If you wanna make an order, you can hit it up there. I also hear rumors there's a website coming, so just stay tuned for that. Um, but personally, my favorites are these skipping jigs that he makes. I really, really like the Kusa Craw. It's just a nice crawl pattern, nice crawl color. And I really like to pair that with a uh, like a Rage Rage Claw uh, by Strike King. Those are one of my favorites. Um, the one that did it today is in this color right here, the Game Changer. You guys need to check this one out for sure. If you don't have this one in your tackle box, you need to get it. It's got the blues that you want. If it's you know got a little bit of stained water, it's also got the natural colors of that pumpkin look. It's even got a little chartreuse. I mean, the thing literally is a game changer. It can fish in all types of water. Um, really, really like that color. Uh, I mean, he's got all kinds of natural colors, your black and blues. And then in your swim jigs, he's got your natural colors, black, dark colors. I mean, again, the guy can make almost any color you can dream up. If you can think of a color that you want, if he doesn't already have it, he'll probably make it for you. And one of my favorites in the swim jig is this knockout shad. I really, really like the color on that thing. And it looks awesome paired with one of our swim baits. So you guys got to go check him out. Um, again, putting his Instagram right here on screen. So you got to go look him up. All right, so back to what happened today. So the, really the the deal was is the morning bite. I mean, it's your typical summer pattern where those fish will come up and feed on shad in the morning. They get a little bit more active and as soon as the sun comes up over the trees, they're going deep, they're hard to find, they spread out a little bit, they get really, really suspended on cover and they get a little lethargic. They, they get a little stingy with that bite. We weren't really able to do anything after nine o'clock and we had some really exciting ones too, some top water blow ups. Um, I don't think I caught anything of size, which that should not surprise y'all whatsoever. Tyler over here kept us kept us in the uh, the black uh, today with the, uh, uh, I think that was very close to a four pounder. It had to be at least three and a half. And then he caught one that was pushing two. Um, and those were the two big ones for the day. Wish we could have got on, you know, some fives, but hey, that's fishing. That's why we come out every day to do it. Because if we caught fives every day, then we'd always be looking for tens. i um, not saying I wouldn't take a 10, by the way. I'd, I'd love to take a 10 right now. Everybody, thank Tyler for taking me on the boat. Uh, again, check out Wicked Jigs, and he can hook you up. Do you have anything you want to say to the to the folks, Tyler? Uh, yeah, go check out Wicked Jigs and Roll Tide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, smash the like button, hit that comment section, and if you haven't already, hit the red subscribe button, turn it gray, hit the ding dong notifications if you want to be notified anytime I drop a new video. And we'll catch you on the next one, people. Later.